you will see a lot of YouTube videos offering a solution to fix any optical disc. Mostly, toothpaste is used in different ways. While toothpaste might be a solution in some cases, it does not work in any situation and certainly it will not work with all optical discs. Because, as I will explain in this video, each type of disc is built differently. The technology is different and I will tell you why Blu-rays are particularly tricky to repair. I'm Max from Lifehacker Max and in this video I will share with you my experience trying to restore a scratched Blu-ray disc the different methods I tried, what I learned from this experience and if it is possible or not to fix a scratched Blu-ray. For those of you who want the short answer, no, I couldn't fix the disc, if anything I destroyed it even more. I still believe there is a chance to restore a Blu-ray depending on the state of the disc and using the proper technique and the right materials, but more on that later. For now, let's start from the beginning. Be advised that attempting to repair your own disc can render it unusable. I made those experiments so you don't have to. So do this at your own risk. So I got this Spider-Man PS4 Blu-ray disc that would load but would not copy the whole files onto my PlayStation. I would get an error at about 16.6 GB. This is important for later in this video. And as you can see, the disc has some scratches on it. So, before taking any drastic measures, I thought I would give the toothpaste method a try. Because of the toothpaste abrasive properties, it makes sense for this method to work as a polishing cream. I applied a fair amount of toothpaste on the disc and started buffing out the surface with a microfiber towel. I did this twice, with no visual results whatsoever. I tried to copy the files again, only to be greeted with the same error at 16 GB. Just to be clear, I do not disprove the toothpaste method, it might still work on other types of optical discs. To better understand what I'm saying, you need to know the difference between CDs, DVDs and Blu-rays, because they are not built in the same way. You see, while they all have the same form factor of 120mm in diameter and 1.2mm thickness, CDs have the information layer on the top of the disc, DVDs in the middle and Blu-rays very close to the bottom side. And the biggest difference is the very thin anti-scratching protective layer that only Blu-ray discs have. It's a 100 microns or 0.1 millimeters hard coat that protects the Blu-ray from scratches, but also makes it harder to be polished than CDs and DVDs. A standard sheet of paper is 110 microns thick. And that is why toothpaste is useless for repairing Blu-rays. I still think you can give toothpaste a chance in case of CDs or DVDs. Not knowing all of this at the time, I went to my next experiment sanding the whole surface of the disc to take the scratches out. For this method I used 2500 grit sandpaper under a stream of water. I am using water because without water the plastic residue gets into the sandpaper and scratches the surface even more. The logic here is to take out the deep scratches, but I will get lots and lots of little scratches instead. Little scratches that should be easier to get polished, right? So, I started polishing the disc again with toothpaste. By this time I noticed something was wrong and figured out about the protective layer that I partially sanded off. Then I started to try anything I could think of that I had around the house and could potentially give some results. I tried some polishing compound from my Dremel. I tried changing the microfiber towel to glasses cleaning cloth. I got some good results with this compound, but as you can see not near the mirror finish the disc needs in order to work properly. This is how the Blu-ray looks at this point. You can see the scratches left by the 2500 grit sandpaper and you can also see the partially sanded hard coat. But I wasn't out of ideas yet, I wanted to give baking soda a try. Also known as sodium bicarbonate, mixed with water it creates a paste that is more abrasive than toothpaste. Then I mix the baking soda with toothpaste to make the paste smoother. I did notice some results in the sense that I could see the hard coat was beginning to get polished off. 
but by this time I was already rubbing the disc for two days with various solutions and by my calculations it would have taken me weeks to make the disc shiny again. But I was still not ready to give up yet and by this time it was getting personal. So I got my ass in the car and went to the store and bought the smoothest sandpaper I could find which is 3000 grit and also this professional acrylic polishing paste. I applied some paste on the disc and started rubbing it with some medical cotton. I tried the included cloth but I found cotton to give better results. And you can see from the first application the disc had already started to look better. But with so many scratches the PlayStation wouldn't even recognize the disc. So I buffed the disc countless times. A buffing machine would have probably made my life way easier. I applied the paste, rubbed as hard and fast as I could, cleaned off the paste, checked the situation and repeated. Here is a close up with the difference between two polishing procedures. And here is the mirror finish polished disc after many many hours of polishing. The results? I managed to copy almost 19 GB of data. So more than in the beginning, but sadly not enough. In conclusion, can a scratched Blu-ray disc be repaired? I think there is a small chance to repair a scratched Blu-ray disc. Instead of throwing it away right from the start, it is worth a try. Can a Blu-ray be resurfaced? Well, given the fact that after I send it off the hard coat I still managed to read the disc, I think there is a possibility to send off the protective layer, polish the surface and still get it to work. The hand polishing procedure is exhausting and takes hours of work to get the disc to a mirror finish. I think a buffing disc would give the same results in less time with less effort. I would like to give that a try next time. Things I would try differently. I would try the polishing cream first, but only to selectively polish out the scratches, not on the whole disc. If this does not work, I would try polishing the whole surface. If still no results, I would try resurfacing the disc by sanding it with 2500 grit, then 3000 grit, then polishing the whole thing to a mirror finish. If still no results, that would be the time to give up. If this video was useful, please give it a like and if you can get a Blu-ray to work, leave us a comment so we know someone has succeeded in this endeavor. Also, if you want to support my channel and help me make more useful videos, think about becoming a Patreon following the link in the description. I'm Max from Lifehacker Max and thank you for watching.